Welcome to the video on dehydration synthesis and hydrolysis. The cell works to transform small molecules into large ones and large into small. All of these reactions represents the cell's metabolism. In this video I will discuss the two general reactions that encompass cellular metabolism, dehydration synthesis and hydrolysis. Recall the four classes of biological molecules. Each of these represents a group of molecules with similar characteristics and structure. Each of the four classes are often called macromolecules or polymers. In each class they are made of repeating subunits that are referred to as monomers. The monomers will be the building block for making the large macromolecule within each group. Monomers are linked together to form the polymer molecule through dehydration synthesis which removes the water. That's the reaction you see going to the right. Polymers are broken apart by hydrolysis which is the addition of water. So dehydration, removing water, hydrolysis, using water. All these biological reactions, whether they be dehydration synthesis or hydrolysis, will be mediated by enzymes, which will be used in the cell to speed up chemical reactions. Most biological molecules are very large and are built by assembling small molecules, or monomers, into long chains. The resulting molecules are called macromolecules, or polymers. A process of linking monomers, called dehydration synthesis, involves the removal of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom to form water. One way this might happen is diagrammed here, where several generic monomers are shown with OH groups that could be used for linking. The animation illustrates the joining together of monomers by dehydration synthesis catalyzed by a polymerase enzyme, and the reverse process, in which added water results in hydrolysis, catalyzed by a hydrolase enzyme. A cell makes a large number of polymers from a small group of monomers. For example, proteins are made from 20 different amino acids, and we can see them listed here on the left side of the figure. If we imagine those amino acids are Lego blocks. When we begin to link the Legos to each other, we are taking each of the monomers and beginning to build a polymer. If we continue to build, the polymer gets longer and longer and longer until eventually we actually have a protein. Dehydration synthesis is the reaction that builds polymers. In this example we can see the short polymer made up of three monomers and by adding the fourth through the functional groups which will ultimately lead to water we can build and link that monomer to the building polymer. So when in the cell would we want to build molecules? This will be one of the review questions. Hydrolysis will remove monomers, breaking down the polymer into individual monomer subunits. Here water will be needed to complete the process. So again, when would a cell break down molecules? And ultimately, are the two reactions connected to each other. So hydrolysis is going to break down a large molecule into smaller ones and dehydration synthesis takes small monomer units and makes the larger macromolecule or polymer. See you later.